And now, your Storm Team 2 forecast with meteorologist Tara Hastings. And we're still going to see some very gusty winds through the evening hours. Mainly cloudy skies with a few spotty showers or maybe even a few flurries. Temperatures will be falling into the 30s by 11 o'clock tonight. And then we're going to see some clearing skies. That's going to set the stage for temperatures to drop into the 20s early tomorrow morning. We'll see 46 degrees with lots of sunshine into the afternoon and highs into the lower 50s. And it doesn't look like it's going to be as windy as what we saw today. Again, some pretty high. High winds heading into the overnight hours. We have a high wind advisory for those wind gusts possible up to 60 miles per hour. That runs until 8 o'clock, and then a wind advisory takes over from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock, where those winds will drop a little bit, the threshold between about 40 and 50 miles per hour. Talking about that cold start to your Sunday morning, we have a freeze a warning in effect for most of the Miami Valley. So if you got an early start on your spring planting, might want to cover up your vegetation or otherwise bring it in. We are going to see lots of sunshine. As we head into your Sunday, though, and it is going to be just a little bit warmer. What we have is this area of low pressure pushing through right now, a cold front that's producing those pretty strong winds and also a few showers. Earlier today, we had some ice pellets or grapple falling, uh, so we may see a little bit of that too. Even a few flurries will be possible. Uh, as we go through the next couple of hours. But you could see here on the radar, rather scattered in nature. We'll show you what's happening here in Dayton. This is along I-75 looking southbound, our bright heating cooling systems camera. We have a little shower poking through right now. And right now, officially at Dayton International Airport, we've dropped down to 37 degrees. Still seeing those nor northwesterly winds at 44 miles per hour, but gusting at times up to 56. It's 32 in Belfound, 42 in Springfield, Xenia over towards Wilmington, 44 in Springboro, but 36 in Greenville. Here's our future track forecast model. Maybe a few light showers or flurries with some cloud cover and very strong winds. But after midnight, we'll begin to see those clouds clear out and we'll start off with lots of sunshine as we go into early Sunday morning. Heading into much of the afternoon, it's still going to be a touch breezy, but not as windy as what we saw today. Still lots of sunshine though. As we end into Sunday night, the clouds begin to pick back up and we'll see a chance for some showers as we head into your Monday with mainly cloudy skies as we go into the beginning of the new work week. So here's how things break down tonight. 26 degrees later tonight. High winds expected here, but skies eventually become clear. A few showers early on, maybe a few flurries, but tomorrow mostly sunny skies. Breezy, those winds out of the west at 8 to 15 miles per hour with highs near 52. In your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, we'll hit about 50 degrees on Monday with a chance for a few showers. Hours. We'll see dry conditions on Tuesday. We'll drop just a few degrees down to 48. Bounce back up to 58 on Wednesday with a chance for some rain. And colder air moves in again on Thursday. We could see a rain, maybe a few snow showers mixing in as the uh, precipitation departs. Temperatures near 50. So a wild start to April. Woo. Not a word I expected you to use there, though. Snow. No. Yeah, it is possible. A few flurries. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Tara.